I'm at the London Science Museum to check out the world's most advanced humanoid robots. This exhibition, which has just opened, showcases more than 100 robots built to resemble the human body. So where is this technology at and how is it affecting our lives? I went to speak to one of the curators of robots to find out. We build humanoid robots for, I think, a lot of reasons which have stayed consistent throughout history. Um, we build them to try to better understand ourselves. By building something, you, you come to understand it better and you, you realize what you don't know about it yet. So that we have a lot to learn about the human body. We build them in order to entertain ourselves. I mean, robots have been a huge part of science fiction and culture, uh, literature, theater for a very long time. We build them in order to, well, on a practical level, build a machine which can operate within the environment that we humans have constructed for ourselves. Reem is a humanoid service robot that can be a receptionist, make speeches, and she can even be programmed to compliment your guests. Casper works with kids with an autism spectrum condition. Don't have a kid but want one? Not surprisingly, there's a robot for you too. The iCub is one of the most intelligent learning robots in the world. It's modelled on a five-year-old child, so essentially it looks like a robot toddler. And you can see videos of this iCub robot learning different tasks, whether it's language or object recognition. But what it's really doing in this exhibition is showing when robots can learn socially from us, everyone could be empowered to dictate what future they have with robots. Kadoma Royd is the world's first robot newscaster. Built by leading robotics professor Hiroshi Ishiguro in Japan in 2014, every hair on her body has been painstakingly inserted by hand. Skeptics say androids like her are uncanny, even creepy, while others happily embrace them. Whatever the type of robot, their numbers are only set to grow. By 2019, the International Federation of Robotics says more than 1.4 million new industrial robots will hit factories worldwide. And the focus on automation will be on the collaboration between man and machine. <laughs>